Healthy Lux. Once upon a time, there was a young girl named Healthy Lux, with hair as bright as gold. Late one afternoon, as she was walking through the forest picking berries, she lost track of time as it started to get dark. Luck on her side, she stumbled upon an empty cabin nestled between the trees. After knocking several times with no response, she decided to go inside and investigate. Little did she know, this little cabin in the woods was inhabited by three bears. Wow, look at all these options for breakfast. There's waffles, donuts, and oatmeal. Let's try the waffles first. Mmm. Wow, this is way too sweet. Let's check the ingredients. Oh boy, oh boy, this has high fructose corn syrup and that can lead to type 2 diabetes and I don't want that to happen. Let's move on to the next, please. Let's try the donuts. Ugh, what's in this? Oh my god, this is a processed food and it has a lot of saturated fat. Let's check the ingredients. Mm -hmm. Wow, this has a lot of sugar. Mm -hmm and a lot of saturated fat. And a lot of saturated fat means obesity. And I don't want that to happen. Let's try the oatmeal. Mm -mm, this oatmeal is very good and it's organic. It even helps lower your cholesterol. Let's have some more. Boy, oh boy, I can't believe I finished it all. Mmm, that was good. Let's go home now. It's starting to get really late. Later that evening, the three bears came back to their home, realizing that someone had gotten in. Hey, looks like someone ate a piece of my food. Looks like they didn't like it very much. Well, they also ate my food, but it seems they didn't like it. Someone ate my food and really liked it because it's all gone. Hey, this must be a sign. We should switch to organic. It can make us much more fit in the future. I agree. Oh, wow. Thanks for helping me carry these groceries. No problem. But why'd you get these peanuts? Well, I wanted to get something with protein in it, and peanuts are full of protein. That's so cool, I didn't know that. Wait, what is protein? Protein helps build the muscles in your body. It's also used as an energy source. That's really cool. Yeah, I know, I learned that at school. What else did you get? Check behind that bag, I think there's grapes. Oh, I love uvas. What are uvas? Uvas are what we call grapes in Spanish. Uvas, uvas, wow, thanks for teaching me that. Try saying it with me. Uvas. Why'd you get the zanahorias? What? Yeah, those. Oh, the carrots. I didn't know that. But I got them because I learned that they help your eyesight. Wow, I'm going to eat zanahorias more often. Can we say it one more time? Zanahorias. Have you seen the milk? Milk? What's milk? There it is, right there. Oh, you mean the leche. Huh? Yeah, that's what we call milk in Spanish. That's so cool. Well, thanks for helping me. Can we go over it one more time? Sure. Boys and girls, how do you say grapes in Spanish? That's right, uvas. And how do you say carrots in Spanish? Oh yeah, zanahorias. And finally, how do you say milk in Spanish? Leche. Well, thank you once again for helping me. No problem. See you later. Hi, little detectives. My friend Detective Pauline and I are going to show Prella and Cosmo on healthier choices of what to eat. Oh, I can't wait to work with the famous Detective Paulina. Thank you. Let's go inside. Man, you guys have a lot of food in here. That's why it's so hard to make healthy choices. What do you want to look at first? We could look at breakfast foods. We have waffles and pancakes and... Cereal. Let's look at cereal. Man, I love cereal. There's so many kinds. Let's see what we have.
Ooh, dolphin O's. My favorite type of cereal. It has a dolphin on it and it's healthy. I love dolphins. How do you know it's healthy for you? Well, because a dolphin says so. I don't think it works like that. What makes you say that? Well, most cereals are unhealthy for you, but this one seems to have a lot of sugar. And just because a dolphin says it's healthy doesn't mean it really is. Then what can we eat that's healthy? It's okay to have cereal once in a while, just some are healthier than others. Oh, okay. What other foods can we eat for breakfast that are good for you? Mmm, donuts. I love donuts. But are they healthy for you? Come check this out. <laughs> Whoa, bread. What's the difference between these breads? I like the color for one. Me too. I can tell. But how about this one? It's so plain. It doesn't matter. This one has whole wheat and fiber. This one has bleached flour and sugar. So it's not as nearly as healthy. I can tell. When you put whole wheat bread into a toaster, how long should you toast it for? You shouldn't toast it too much. It can be very unhealthy for your body. Toast until light brown. I can't wait to make some toast. Are you guys ready for your challenge? I'm so excited. Let's get started. You must find three things to make a healthy breakfast. I'm so excited. Let's go. The food detective is here. You only have five minutes. This will prove if you're ready to be a food detective. So what did you guys find? I found egg, yogurt, string cheese, and raspberries. Wow, you can put yogurt as a breakfast? You can have it on the side. How about you, Prella? I found an apple, and I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with whole wheat bread. That's cool. This is a lot of food, but there's so many different kinds. Yeah, you could put all sorts of food on your plate for breakfast. Like orange juice, apples, and sandwiches. But the key is to stay balanced. I learned so much today. Now, I'm finally a food detective. And now since you're a food detective, you're able to make healthier choices too. <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of here. This is your lame movie again? Get out of here, Scram! Come on. <laughs> Never too early yeah, there. for a mock draft. So let's send it over to 99 and Baldy and find out who they're taking. All right, thank you, Danny. You know, we just had a coin toss, me and Sapp, and, and I won the toss, so I'm going to go first yes. here. Offensive lineman, defensive lineman here. Oh, yeah, age, beauty, <laughs> okay. got it. All right, <laughs> so, hey, let's for the first one here. Houston got the first pick. Welcome to Meals and Muppets, where we explore all the things healthy and active. We have a special show today where we'll be looking at the food that we eat nom, 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 and where it comes from. <laughs> let's go down to our friends, Milo and Max. Hello everybody! Today we're going to learn all about aquaponics. What is aquaponics? Aquaponics is a version of farming where you don't use any soil. You can create an aquaponics system in your house, but in order to create one, you need an aquaponics tank. Here, let us go show you. This here is an aquaponics tank. The way an aquaponics tank works is that the water and the fish waste go up through this pipe into this tray where the plant roots are. If you look closely, the fish's waste and the water from the tank fertilize the plant's roots, and in return, the plant's roots filter out the water, capturing all the dirty bacteria, cleaning it out, and shooting it through a tube back into the tank. Wait, so the water and the fish waste fertilize the plants? Yeah, it's an amazing way to grow plants indoors. Wait, isn't there something else like aquaponics? I think you're talking about hydroponics. Aren't they the same? Well, no. When you farm using aquaponics, you use a fish's waste to fertilize a plant's roots. 
When you farm using hydroponics, you don't have fish in the tank. And instead, you add nutrients to the water. And the plants grow in the water as they do in the soil. So the plants grow in just the water? In addition to the water, you also need something to support the plants. There are many different mediums you can use for this, like lava rock, insulation, sand, gravel, and so many other mediums. Wow, that's amazing that there's so many other mediums for growing in a hydroponic system. Yeah, it's fascinating being able to grow plants indoors, and you're not even using soil. Wow, thanks for teaching us so much about hydroponics and aquaponics. No problem. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Since you were with me learning about aquaponics, I thought my friend Paulina here could teach you guys a bit about planting. Hi, Paulina. Hi, Max. What brings you here? Well, my friends here walked up to me, and I decided to show them around the garden. Well, lucky for you, these green peppers are ripe and ready to go. Wow, how did you grow these? By planting. Do you know how to plant? Why, yes, but do you guys know how to plant? To plant, you need soil minerals, proper water, proper air temperature, and proper sunlight. Oh, okay. Wow, planting seems fun and interesting. I'm going to head to the store now to buy some items I can use to begin planting with. Well, when you return, I'll be sure to help you out. Thanks so much, Paulina. Let's check in with our resident scientist, Larry, about his recent trip to one of our local farms. Hi, Larry. How are you? I'm great, Andrea. Good to see you. What brings you here today? I went to the grocery store the other day and bought a bag of potato chips that said GMO free. What are GMOs? I'm not sure, but they sound interesting. I also came across some lettuce that said pesticide free. What are pesticides? I'm not sure either, but I think I know who might. I have a friend who's a farmer and he might be able to help us out. That's a great idea, Larry. I'm sure he will have an answer for us. Hi, William. Oh, hi, Larry. William, this is my friend, Andrea. Andrea, this is my friend, William. Nice to meet you. So how can I help you two? Andrea went grocery shopping and had some questions about the labels on her food. Do you know what GMOs and pesticides are? Absolutely. GMO stands for genetically modified organisms, which means that it's been genetically altered to be changed, as in it can grow bigger, faster, and also be tolerant to climate change. Does that mean it's bad? Not necessarily, but the plant has changed. What about pesticides? What are those? Pesticides are chemicals used by farmers to spray on their plants, so then the pests and the bugs will not eat their plants. But sometimes it can be toxic to humans. That's terrible! I know, that's why we're an organic farm. Organic? What does organic mean? Organic means we only use natural pesticides, as in spearmint and chili oil. And we only use natural fertilizers, as in chicken droppings. And what the chicken droppings do is give a lot of nutrients to our plants, so then they can be strong and healthy. So, your plants get their energy from chicken droppings? Not necessarily. They do get a lot of nutrients from the chicken droppings, but they usually go through a phase called photosynthesis. What's photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is when the plant gets energy from the sun and combines it with carbon dioxide and water so that they make a sugar and so humans can breathe. Fascinating. Thanks for the lesson. Okay, we have to go home now. Thanks for teaching us, William. I had a great time learning about planting and farming. Me too. I'm glad we came. With this knowledge at hand, Larry has been working on something special for us. Let's see what he's been up to. Mmm, that was a good hot dog. A hot dog? Again? You've eaten one every night this week. But they're so good. That's a lot of processed meat, and that's not healthy. Look, I just created my new invention, the ghost. The ghost will allow us to travel any place, anywhere, any time. 
The people will go around their daily lives, but we'll be invisible to them. Like ghosts? Exactly. How will the ghost help me with my problem? I need food. We can use the ghost to study new foods. Watching people eat will just make me even more hungry. We'll have a feast afterward, and you might be interested in trying some of the new foods we encountered on our journey. That sounds like a deal. Hmm. Why don't we visit a sushi bar in Japan? Sure. Whoa! Well, here we are. Japan. Whoa, look at this place. Wow, you're a really talented chef. Did you forget already? These people cannot see or hear us. We're like ghosts to them. Whoops, that's going to take some getting used to. Oh look, salmon and tofu. I heard that salmon has lots of minerals, like magnesium and iron. Iron helps get oxygen into your blood cells, while magnesium reduces the risk of getting heart disease. And tofu is full of key nutrients, like protein, calcium, and iron. We need sushi at our feast. Man, I'm too hungry to continue on. Can we just return home? Yeah, but the, the knob, it won't turn. Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, where are we? I'm not sure, but I think we're in Africa. We're in Africa. How can you tell? This food, it's African food. Look. They're eating cassava and fufu. I've never heard of those foods before. Cassava is full of vitamin C, vitamin B16, and iron. Very interesting. And look, they're also eating fufu. And fufu is just dough made from ground cassava. I'm standing here, hungry, and all you can talk about is food? Anyway, back to our situation. We really need to fix the ghost. Uh, I think I fixed it. All right, now we can go back and have our feast. You know, it's Tampa got a brand new helmet logo this week. You know. Good morning, Max. It's a beautiful day outside. Would you like to go on a short jog with me? <laughs> Get out of here, Dad. I don't. I just want to stay home and eat chips and watch TV. And you really should get off on that couch. You're missing out today. Oh well, you're lost. They made last year. Gerald McCoy in the middle, him on the outside. I like the way you're thinking, Bob. Hello and good morning. Welcome to Otto's Morning Meals. My name is Otto. And my name's Emily. Today, we have a special guest from our local gym, Madison. And she is going to teach us some of her favorite recipes. Today, we are going to be making one of my favorite breakfasts, bagel sandwiches. First thing we need to do before we get started is wash our hands. All right, Madison, my hands are all washed. So, why don't you tell the audience all the ingredients for our meal? First thing we need is a tomato, two eggs, some lettuce, bacon, and your favorite bagel. Yum. First thing we need to do is slice our tomato. Make sure you have an adult in the kitchen when you're cooking. One, two, three. Now, let's get some lettuce. One. Now it's time to cook our bacon. Be extra careful whenever you're around hot pans. Guys, aren't we supposed to be making a healthy breakfast? Mm-hmm. Yes, we're using turkey bacon. It's a good source of lean protein. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> While our bacon's cooking, we need to whisk our eggs. One. Mmm, I can't wait.
wait to eat these. These are gonna turn out great. There's so many healthy things. Did you know that tomato and lettuce has a good source of vitamins and nutrients? Nutrients? What are those? They're important from everything from your eyes to your heart, even your skin. They're especially important when you're growing. That sounds great. I can't wait to eat these. Yum. Now it's time to make the eggs. First thing we need to do is heat up the pan. Be careful. First thing you got to do is add the eggs. And mix until they're scrambled. Wow, these look great. Eggs cook quickly, so we're almost done now. Now we just gotta scoop them onto your favorite bagel. These bagels are gonna be great. There you go, bagel sandwiches. Mm -mm. Thanks for watching another episode of Otto's Morning Meals. We'll be back right after these messages. Have you ever considered how the food we're feeding our children today will affect their future? Do you want to make a change? Come join us on Saturday, June 4th at the table to engage in critical conversations around the food we eat. Hello and welcome back to Otto's Morning Meals with our special guest, Madison, a trainer from our local gym. What's next, Madison? Well, those bagel sandwiches were good, but mm -hmm. they take a little while to make. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make a superfood smoothie. It's packed with kale and chia seeds. What's a superfood? I think a superfood is a nutrient-packed food that is especially healthy for you and your well-being. Madison, why don't you tell us the ingredients for the superfood smoothie? Well, to make this superfood smoothie, we're going to need a couple pieces of kale, frozen strawberries and bananas, yum, chia seeds, and don't forget the ice. Now put your blender on high and start. <laughs> Looks like it's done. Can I try it? Sure. Mmm, tastes so good. And it's good for you, too. It's been a pleasure to have you on this show, Madison. Thank you. Thank you for joining us, Madison. Thank you for joining us on another special episode of Otto's Morning Meals. Good morning, Melanie. Would you like to go on a short jog with me? It's a beautiful morning, and we can move our legs and get some fresh air. No thanks, I'm good. I just want to hang out here and do nothing but watch TV. Really? You don't want to go? <sighs> but it's so nice outside, Melanie. I don't want to go, Max. I want to watch my show and eat some chips and drink soda. Okay, fine, but you should try to get off that couch because you're always sitting there, okay? Hey, do you guys wanna go on a jog with me? Great, let's get going. Whoa, what's that? A farmer's market? Should we go check it out? Great, let's get going. Hello, are you the one who sells these bananas here? Oh, why, uh, yes I am. Wow, bananas are my favorite snack. Well, did you know that bananas are good for you? But they're actually really healthy too. You see, they have an excellent source of potassium, 
which helps your body get rid of cramps, like when you're exercising. So it's important to eat bananas before you exercise. Cool. Thanks for letting me know a bit about bananas. Now I know why they're healthy for us. I'll take a bundle. OK, let me ring you up. Hello, and welcome to Cosmo's Garden and Grill with your host, Rosemary and Cosmo. Today, we will be joined by the host from Otto's Morning Meals. Hey, guys. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Thanks for inviting me. I'm happy to have you as well. So, do you want to tell everyone what we're going to be cooking today? Yeah, sure. So, today, we're going to be making a salt and pepper flank steak with a side of rainbow chard. Not only is it tasty, it's healthy for you too. I'm so excited. Let's hit the grill. So Otto, what's the first step? So the first step into making this meal is that we have to preheat our grill. Make sure you always have an adult with you when you're cooking. So now what? Now, we have to season the steak with salt and pepper. Make sure you get both sides. It looks good already. Steak season, what's next? Next, we have to let our steak rest and work on the rainbow chard. That chard looks beautiful. We just got it out of Cosmo's garden this morning. Cut it into bite-sized pieces. Now let's mince up some garlic. The grill's nice and hot now. We should put on the steak. While the steak's cooking, let's work on the chard. First, let's heat up our pan. This is gonna go by quickly. So let's heat up some oil and throw in the chard and garlic in the pan. This sure is fun. Now, season it with some salt and pepper. Smells good. Now, let's take the steak off the grill and let the steak rest for five minutes. Man, I love this recipe. It's fast and it's healthy. The last step is to add rainbow chard and a pepper for garnish. And there we have it, flank steak with a side of rainbow chard, fresh from my garden. See you next time. Thanks for watching Cosmo's Garden and Grill. Melanie, guess what? I found a farmer's market and bought some groceries we can cook with. Melanie, you don't look so well. Max, I feel sick. I've been doing nothing but eating junk food all day. I'm sorry to hear that, Melanie. I should have listened to you when you asked me to go on a walk. I know. I'll cook you a healthy dinner, and in the morning, we'll go exercising. OK, that sounds great. Melanie! Melanie! Oh, where could she be? I'm over here. I feel so much better after a healthy dinner. Now that I'm rested, we can go exercise. 
Glad to hear, Melanie. Come on, let's get going. We'll take just a short jog. I don't disagree with anything like that right now. Eight yes. man in the box for Adrian Peterson. He's one on one. Let's just throw it up. We recognize that Buffalo has a quarterback in EJ Manuel. Yeah. I think you can build with this kid. Let's give him some talent. Let's go to tight end here. Because there's a tight end. Did you say tight end? Hello? Hi, Mom. Are you coming home soon? Why? I'm hungry. Can you pick me up a cheeseburger, large fries, and a large soda? Whoa, that's an awful lot of food. But I'm hungry. Okay, sweetie. And now, back to your favorite reality TV show, Muppet Size. Okay, so you start off by lifting the weights and moving your arm in an up and down motion. This shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I guess I'll try. Whoa! Whoa! This is way harder than I thought. Agreed. This is not going as planned. Maybe we can try jump roping instead. That sounds like a better idea. Guys, look, I found a jump rope. Great. Can you teach us how to jump rope with it? Yeah, you do it like this. <laughs> I don't think that's how you jump rope. Here, let us try. Okay, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, this is way harder than I thought. Yeah, ouch. <laughs> well, do you guys need some help? Thanks. We're really having a hard time with this jump rope. I can teach you if you'd like. Yeah, that'd be great. You do it like this. Whoa, cool. Wow. Hey, Maddie. Hi. This is my friend Madison. She teaches some classes here. Yeah, you guys are welcome to join if you want. Yeah, sure. That sounds great. Why don't you go show them where it's at while I go get changed? Okay, follow me. Hey, guys. My name is Madison. I'm going to teach you about exercising. Exercising is great because exercise delivers oxygen and nutrients to your muscles. And it also helps your heart and it raises your energy. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you the first exercise. The first exercise is jumping jacks. Are you guys ready? One, two, three, four, five. All right, great job with those jumping jacks. Now, let's start jogging in place. Do we have to? Yes, because jogging helps make our bones healthier and stronger. All right then. Honey, I'm home. I got your food. I'm starving. Well, go ahead and eat up. Um, 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 um. This is so good. Honey, slow down a bit. You're going to choke. I'm still hungry. Can you get me more food? I think that's enough for today. Oh, uh, uh, mom, mom. What happened, sweetie? I don't feel too good after eating all that food. I feel sluggish and slow. Well, if you want, we could go to the hospital with Dr. Larry. Okay. My stomach does hurt. Hello, my name is Dr. Ricks. Hi, my name is Paulina. And my son, Philip, he's very sick. What seems to be the problem? Earlier today, I ate some food, and then I didn't feel so well. What did you eat? A cheeseburger, large fries, and a large soda. Do you eat like this often? Yeah, cheeseburgers are my favorite. My honey loves his food. Hmm, well, maybe we should run some tests to see what's going on. Okay, we're gonna try to see why you're not feeling so well. Can you take some deep breaths for me? Again. Okay, we're gonna take some blood and it might hurt a little. Is he gonna be okay, doctor? No problem, we're just testing his blood sugar. I hope everything's gonna be okay. Me too, honey. I think Dr. Rick's got you in good hands. 
Although, you need to cut back on those burgers. I got the test results back, and unfortunately, I have some bad news. His blood sugars are very high, as well as his cholesterol. Therefore, he's at risk for type 2 diabetes. What's that, doctor? Type 2 diabetes is when your body has a problem regulating the sugars in your blood. Is there anything I can do to prevent this? Of course. All you have to do is cut down on the fatty foods like cheeseburgers and fries and try some fresh fruits and vegetables. Okay. I promise to exercise more and eat healthier. I think I'm going to go for that jog. What is aquaponics? Aquaponics is a version of farming where you only use... I messed up my line. <laughs> going to help us with exercising. Thanks, Beth. My name is Vianne. Oh no, it's Madison. <laughs> How about this one? It's so plain. It doesn't matter. This brand has whole, whole, whole wheat. Oh my god, the, the her neck keeps. Her, hold on, her neck. Her, her neck. neck is like going. Hello, and welcome to Cosmo Garden and Grow with your hosts, Rosary and Cosmo. Today. You're like staring on the back. <laughs> I am. <laughs> boy, oh boy, this has a lot of high fructose corn syrup. And that's really bad for me. And you know what it can also lead? It was so good before. I told you I'm sorry. 